Hello, my name is Mr. Dog and welcome back to another standard deck shit case. Today we're going to be looking at ADP Dragonite. So with ADP we want to get a metal energy and a water energy onto this guy, so we can do altered creation jacks, so we can do 30 more damage and take an extra prize card for each Pokemon we knock out. After that we're going to power up our Dragonite with Ultimate Ray and accelerate two waters and a lightning energy to fulfill the attack cost of Dragon Gale. And with Dragon Gale we can do a whopping 280 damage. However we do do 20 damage to each of our bench Pokemon so that is something we need to be careful of. We also play one Galarian Zapdos. This Pokemon's attacks cost one colorless energy less for each of your opponent's Pokemon V in play. So if three Pokemon V are in play, then Thunderous Kick costs one energy. And because Eternatus VMAX is weak to fighting, we can actually knock Eternatus VMAX out in one hit and take four prize cards, which is pretty funny. Okay, so I'm going to keep the introduction short and sweet. Let's get into some gameplay. Okay, so we're playing against a Dalmize deck. Uh, Put this down, it might be useful at some point. I'm just going to put down this the Dene, I think. I uh, don't really need any of the Radeon or the Dragonite V because we play so like four of them. Um, so I need an ADP, preferably. There we go. And get one. Probably discard the boss. Perfect. So I'll start powering up. Probably want to discard the Elder Goss. And pass for now. Maybe Marnie next turn, see if we can get a switch. I wonder if this is the version with um, Rillaboom and uh, Rowlet and Alolan Executor. It'd be good if they do, because we can knock out a, a, a Rowlet and Alolan Executor with um, Dragonite V, and looks like it is. Nice. So maybe he wants to power up a Rillaboom. Or power up a, a Grookey into a Rillaboom, I should say. The one that accelerates energy onto Pokemon. Oh, he's playing Path to the Peak, okay. I can just get rid of the path to the peak with this. Okay, there's his Grookey. And he's going to evolve it. Okay. I'll put this on here. And this on here. And or Marnie. And that's my switch. Awesome. So we'll do the Ultra Creation GX this turn. And hopefully next turn we can start powering up this Dragonite. I think does the, the VMAX do 240 damage? I, I don't remember, honestly. I don't Okay, we'll guess we'll see. Yeah, 240, that's not that bad. Oh, but he's powering up this Pokemon, though. Does he want to do 200 damage? No, he's doing 150 damage. That's fine. Oh, that, that could be really bad, actually, because he could do Tropical Hour. Okay, I think we have to knock out the Rillaboom. So we'll get rid of his Path to the Peak. And we will put this on here. Scald this. And get another Dedenne. We just need a boss's orders. Okay, perfect. So now we can power up our Dragonite. And you won't be able to get rid of all of our energy. And looks like we've got rid of a lot of energy out of our deck. Or maybe some surprised as well. But it's okay. We can just attach energy next turn. And we'll take two prize cards. There's one energy. And there's our Echoing Horn. So you can't use Tropical Hour to get rid of all of our energy because you can't get two energy on this Pokemon in one turn without his Rillaboom. Without her Rillaboom, I should say. And if we get another energy on here, we can just take the knockout on this Rowlet and Alolan Executor. So what I've noticed is this, this deck does very well against decks that play tag teams because it can do a lot of damage to knock them out. But not so good against VMAXs because it can't quite do enough damage not to knock it out. Okay, now he's just going to attack me with that. So it's GG then. I don't think he realises how much dam how, how much damage I can do. She realises, I, I should say. Because we do 280 damage. And we got a water energy. Maybe she thought that I didn't have enough energy in my hand or something. Well played.
Okay, so we do get an ADP the first turn, and we're going first on the first turn, so that's pretty good. I think we'll attach, we'll attach this for now. Discard the Mew because we don't need to worry about bench damage in this matchup, it's more for Urshifu. And then we'll just pass, see what our opponent does. Probably don't want to play this Crystal Caves just yet because it might help out our opponent because it heals metal, damage, metal Pokemon and Dragon Pokemon. This is probably ADP Zashin or maybe Luke Metal Zashin. Sadly they're putting the, the Aldegoss on the bench, which kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world. And this looks like the Dark version, the Dark Metal version with the Galarian Moltres and the Zashin V. But they don't have an ADP, which is good for us. They're just going to Intrepid Sword. They do get an energy, so they could knock out Dragonite next turn. We will try our best to find a switch. Um, I'm just going to Marnie right here. We can't even use Air Balloon because Dragonite has a, has a retreat cost of 3. Okay, there's a switch. Perfect. So it looks like we are going to set up faster than our opponent this turn. Um, may as well put this down so we can't get knocked out by Dash and V. 280 health, that's that's pretty bulky. I don't know why I didn't check that box before. Maybe this is to get the ADP? I don't know if it's... Is it worth them doing it at this point because they're so far behind? Oh, it's a Zamazenta. Okay. It's not like I play VMAXs in my deck, though, so it's not going to matter. Oh, Rikorio as well, that's interesting. Okay, so that's going to swing into me with the, the Zash and V by the looks of it. And they have got a backup attacker on the bench, so we need to watch out for that. And they're getting rid of the the stadium, so I can't use it, maybe? Okay, it, does, it doesn't really matter because I have an energy in my hand. Okay, so top deck to switch, I don't think that's going to be that useful. Um, I'm just going to discard the Marnie. And this is probably getting knocked out next turn. Um, so I'm just going to... Professor's Research... Uh, I might as well get another Dragonite down. It's a shame we don't have a boss because I could knock out this Mawile or Oricario, but I think we'll just attack into this and power up our one of our Dragonite Vs. Okay, so a couple of our Lightning Energies are missing. Even if they do get the knockout, we'll just get the knockout right back of our Dragonite V can knock out anything in our deck with their 280 damage and they can't get a knockout on this Dragonite. So they've put their Viridian back down, probably getting more Dark Energy. So they're going to want to try and retreat into their Galarian Moltres. Probably. If they can set it up. If not, they'll have to double switch back into their Zash and V. Okay. So they're getting another one out. Do they not play Zenes or Crobats or anything like that? We can maybe heal next turn if we survive. Right. So they need a switch or an air balloon. Or they can just hard retreat. There's the switch. And there we go. I probably want to boss onto the Zashin if possible, because that's the bigger threat right now. It's going to do 190 damage. Um, send this up. Um, yeah, there's the boss. Perfect. So put this on here, and we'll boss up Zashian. and get the knockout. I, I could have used Shred, but it, I don't think it makes much of a difference.
because this this elder goss would have got knocked out straight either way. And this Dra Dragonite V won't get knocked out. We'll get knocked out by his Ashen V either way. So I can knock out all of all of these Pokemon. So unless okay, yeah, that's that's he's just gonna give me the win. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this deck showcase. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it, because I do appreciate knowing what you think of this. And I'll see you for the next deck showcase. Bye!